trying to do you? No, You're aquaphor. Okay, number one, he is erythroderma. Erythra, let he me write. He is erythroderma. Okay, okay, how do you spell that? E R Y. Okay. T H R O. You don't, you didn't put D E R M A. You didn't put the stuff. I'm on. Kelly. I'm his daughter from North Mississippi. Lori, my other sister, she lives closer to him, but he didn't have anybody on his hip yeah. form, so, so we made him. Yeah, so he, here's the issue. Okay. The issue is he has erythroderma. We have to find the cause of it. One of the causes is something called Cesare syndrome. Which is lymphoma, which okay. we've been, which we've been biopsying. Okay. But he's been, he's, he's been he getting steroids, and steroids right. keep, steroids get rid of lymphocytes in the skin. Right. So we can't find atypical lymphocytes in the skin if he's been loaded because up with steroids. He's, and he's still. On, so he yeah. may or may not have, but he's got erythroderma. We just don't know what's causing his erythroderma. Okay. He doesn't have any previous history of psoriasis. Right. Okay. But psoriasis can cause erythroderma. They're reactive forms of erythroderma. But we need to treat the erythroderma. When he was in yesterday, Marie mm -hmm. told him, you need to keep your skin greased. Okay. Head to toe in Vaseline aquaphor. 24, 24 hours. No. 24 hours. No. You, when, you, when, you, when your skin is peeling off like yours is, one of the biggest things your skin does is barrier. It keeps your liquids inside. When your skin is peeling off like this and you're real red, you're losing fluid through your skin. That's why you're not urinating as much. That's why you have the chills. Your barrier is gone. You have to keep yourself coated with aquaphor or Vaseline head to toe, thick, greasy, 24 seven to keep your fluids in or you'll wind up in the hospital. Again. When you go to the hospital, they're gonna dose you up with steroids to make you feel better for a week. And then when they take you off, what happens? You rebound worse than you were before. This can cause high output cardiac failure. You have to have enough fluid inside for your heart to do its job and perfuse your organs. Or what causes it? We're trying to find out. Because you're on those steroids, we can't. They can't decide where it's coming from. That's gonna be healed. But if you, every day the rest of my life. You you're gonna, not for the rest of your life. We just gotta figure out. What. Here's an issue we have. I was here a month ago. I come here once a month. Okay. He didn't make his follow up last time. Oh. Okay. Okay. So you know, here's the issue. I cannot provide adequate care right. if right. I don't have compliant follow up. Right. I care about you. I was thinking about, Marie calls me and she's like, you know, I'm t thinking about Mr. Keys over and I'm like, you know, I was thinking about him last night too. And I haven't seen you in two months. And I hadn't talked to her about you. That was the first time we started talking about you. And I was thinking about his case. Yeah. Because he wasn't, you weren't here last time I was here. I waited for you. I waited for you here. He likes to see pretty women, so I'm surprised that he didn't show up. But we need you to. <laughs> I, I don't know what happened there. And then he ended up going to his PCP, his primary care doctor, and his primary care doctor said, well, you need to get him on steroids. Yeah. And I was waiting for him to come that day so that I, I, I could remove his suture. I called his one time and changed the appointment, but I don't that, know. Two days later, went to the he hospital. went to the, yeah, mm -hmm. and his primary care doctor sent him to the hospital. They admitted him, and what did they do? Put him on steroids. High dose. Okay. Can y'all call me or Lori yeah. instead of him? No, <laughs> so when, you have, when someone has erythroderma, uh -huh. the reactive forms in a lot of in a lot of scenarios, if you put somebody with a reactive or inflammatory skin condition like that on steroids, it makes them better while they're on it. The minute right. you take them off, they rebound and flare worse. Right. Right. Yes, I gave him a measure Okay. Okay. He's like my hands. I put yeah. that on there and put them gloves on. Yeah. They'll look good, be soft, and then a few hours later, they just like that. Look, yeah. you might just this, have to I bring mean, your camper like to my house. Around. Bring your camper to my house, and I'll make but sure that you're coated. Like that. Uh -huh. Yeah. But he's never doesn't have any history of psoriasis. Yeah. So, yeah. so here's a rubber suit to put on, put that stuff on. Yeah. Suit yeah. Right. yeah. So <laughs> here's here's the issue. Um, but we don't want you to sweat that much. <laughs> <You're sweating laughs> so here's the thing. I had Marie go through and look up methotrexate. Okay. okay. Because I, and the other night when I was thinking about you, I was thinking about your case and the issue with methotrexate. Methotrexate treats psoriasis. Okay. Methotrexate treats Cesare or mycosis fungoides. It treats lymphoma. Um, 
methotrexate treats severe atopic dermatitis. Mm -hmm. Here's the problem. We're not sure what you have. We're not sure. Okay. But I know I don't want to keep you on systemic steroids. Mm -hmm. So we only have a few other options. Okay? If it's nothing else, when you first came to see me, he looked like he had severe atopic dermatitis. This has gotten worse. That's right. what it looked like. Okay? Right. Um, I, yeah, I yeah, I believe yeah. he looks better than last time I saw him. I too. saw well, I told him. You this all started when it first started. I started turning it right there. red like this. It wasn't no dry skin, it was mm -hmm. just red, and it just kept blotching, coming, and finally. Yeah, all, I saw you before it was this right. bad. And then, then the scaling hadn't been doing it. All I saw time. him Monday, and he looked yeah, rough. Well, I saw him months ago, yeah. and he didn't have this. Yeah. Right. So here, here's the issue. Here's, and we're just going to lay it all out, mm -hmm. okay? In Great Britain, they are in the forefront of dermatologic treatment. They are ahead of us in Europe. In Europe, they use cyclosporin, they use methotrexate for eczema. We don't do it very You're often here. Like I know. Okay. This, is, this is for your yeah. education. Okay. The issue with methotrexate in elderly people is um, there's a lot of side effects. Okay. But there are more with steroids. Mm -hmm. Steroids, these steroid, these rounds of steroids are not a good treatment because every time we try to take him off he flares worse right okay so steroids are not his friend right they make him feel better in the short term but you cannot stay on them forever right and every time we try to remove them he has flare mm -hmm. so we need to find an immunosuppressant that's similar to steroids without all these side effects okay cyclosporin causes um hypertension and kidney issues in almost 100 percent of adults if they stay on it long enough so we don't want to do that yeah Okay, so we have the option of methotrexate. Methotrexate is a drug that we use for cancer in high doses. That's why you can use it in mycosis fungoides or cutaneous T-cell lymphoma, okay. which he may have. Right. Okay, but it's very low dose that you use mm -hmm. in that. It's very low dose you use in psoriasis. It's very low dose that you use in atopic dermatitis. So everything in his differential can be treated with methotrexate, although it's not first line. But we've tried everything else. He's tried steroids. We've biopsied. We've done light. Right. We've done topicals. We've done everything, everything that you can do. Now we're going into more what we would consider in the United States experimental treatment. In the UK, it's not experimental. Okay. In the UK, it's absolutely not experimental. Right. In first world countries that have good standards of medicine, mm -hmm. France, UK, they use this drug. Okay. But we don't use it here. So we're stepping out on a medical legal platform to help you. Okay. So what we're telling you is you need to understand that this is off-label, okay. okay? In the United States, it's off-label, but I think that, that we need to get his labs if we don't already have. Do we have, do we get all his labs so we can start him on test dose today? We ordered them yesterday. Okay, they should. Maybe they'll be back when we get them. He had a chest x-ray yesterday also. Yeah. Why did we do a chest x-ray? We did the chest x-ray because I want to put him on methotrexate. Okay. And I want, and we're doing a baseline chest x-ray because in a small percentage of people, you can have pulmonary toxicity with methotrexate. It's, um, it's, it's not a normal side effect. Okay. It doesn't happen all the time. It, and it isn't, it isn't, a, it isn't dose dependent and it's not, it is not the total, do, it's not, it's not a chronic dose dependent. The, the, the pulmonary issues that you have with methotrexate are immediate, mm -hmm. and it happens more in elderly people, and it can even happen with low dose. So you low dose, high dose, medium dose, anything. If he's going to have a pulmonary issue, we need to get baseline right, chest x-ray. If we see anything in his chest x-ray, if he has any lung symptoms mm -hmm. after this, then we would know it was a methotrexate, okay. and we'd send him to a pulmonologist. Makes sense. Okay? So we're doing everything 100% by the book and safely. But we're using a medicine that's considered off-label, but what else is there for right. him? Right, so his insurance may not pay for that medicine, Mother right? Mother yeah. cheap. Cheap. Well, that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> it's not like that tube of cream, you know, I told you. No, I told you about that, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah he methotrexate. said you ripped me off, but I paid 99 <laughs> they ripped them off. for it. Yeah. And they the insurance, off. insurance said they paid 170 something off. And it was tiny. It was, yeah, yeah. About like a little small tube. Uh, I yeah, they, I told them to give them like the largest tube, and they gave them the smallest one that they oh had. Oh, my gosh. I'm thinking about it. I didn't see it doing anything. Yeah. <laughs> so that's where, that's Excuse where he's at. Bit. Okay. You know? So if that stuff we comes off of him. We can show you Cesare syndrome. Pictures in, 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 mm -hmm. in, you can even show them to the VA. How do you spell Cesare syndrome? Yeah, write it down, girl.
to my feet. Okay, thank you. They, they were calloused up, they cleared up. Yes, I sir. kept peeling the old dead skin off, and they got real good, and then they done started wanting to. And it's going to keep going. See, that's the, the deal. It's not Erythroderma just from psoriasis. Dead skin off from that. I bad to say, but, you know, they were kind look very similar to this, but he has no history of psoriasis right. at all. Right. So you're, 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 but the trick say helps that, too. Okay. How long does it take the steroids to get out of his system? Um, steroids have a pretty short half life. Yeah. I mean, that's really. Yeah. That's what we were looking at. That's what we were trying to rule out with the biopsies, but again, we kept getting a few. And he's starting to get the ectropion. He's starting to get the ectropion around his eyes. Yeah. And see, he, he mentioned that to me. I it Vaseline. I said something What's about it. Notice ectropia noted in the chart. The the pulling away, this retraction. Yes, because that ends up. He said they're itching. Like well, what it is, the itch, I do like this. No, bit. you need to put Vaseline. You need to put Vaseline. Okay. Yeah. He really needs a methotrexate. And do me a favor, look up and see if there's anything we're missing with erythroderma. And see if there's anything, any other test to get. I got some baby oil, this gel baby oil. Yeah. Is that okay? I'm out. I'm that's no, no, that's not okay. Huh. No, no. You use the cream that they give you. I mean, it's a grease. I mean, I mean, I mean, no, yeah. no, no, none I of that's okay. That, that, that's, I know in theory you think that baby oil is going to be good, but it's not. It's not. It's not doing what we need it to do. We need to actually coat your skin and keep your fluid inside mm -hmm. your body. That's what that's for. It's not necessarily to make it look pretty. Although, I, I know good, you want that. I put a good coat on last night. But that you, was last night. You need to keep it on all the time, 24-7. You need to look like a grease ball. Yeah. Walk around naked, just look like a grease ball. I mean, put yeah. it in your yeah, hair, you'll, put you'll, it everywhere. You'll wind up in the hospital again. They'll pump you full of steroids, and that's the last thing you need. Will y'all about to see him again? We need to, yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll do inter... He's on steroids right now. Yeah. No, so we're not going to do any biopsy right, right now. No. Uh -uh. Methotrexate, it's going to make it impossible, too. But we're doing, the, we, we, you got the flow site, didn't you? You ordered the flow site? I did order it. Let's okay. see what they give us. Okay. I, it's on the paper, okay. and I hope I made a copy and put it in here. Okay. It's all right here, but I ordered. Okay. And I ordered a stack. Okay. Every one of them. Marie's on your, she's on, she cares about you. I have lost sleep. <laughs> You're not going to find someone who cares more. You're not going to find someone who cares more. She's called me probably 10 times in the last few days. Yes, I have, but I literally woke up at 3 a.m. and sat straight up. It's crazy. Isn't it crazy? The day you called me, I was like, you know, I was just thinking about him. Yeah. She told me that, that when she had called the other day, called me the other morning. Yeah, it's rough out there this morning. Uh, it's we cold, had it's ice cold. road between here and the camp. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know what I need you to remember though? Do what? Keep your grease on. Do what? Keep, keep your grease on. You've got to keep the Vaseline on no matter what. I, I want to you up. to just remember I Vaseline. Started, I woke up this morning. I guess I woke up. I don't seem like I sleep. I guess I sleep more than I think. Yeah. But, this, uh, the light treatment we do helps the itching. Have you noticed that? Yeah, he said the light treatments. The light treatments are one of the only things that helps the itching. And like I said, I, it don't hurt to do this, does it? Yes, because we, we don't want any more skin coming off. We, you're inflaming well, your skin already, more. It's already dead. I know, though. but you're inflaming your skin more. And once you get the grease on, I don't want you doing. That. I want you rubbing it off. Try not to mess with your skin. But if we can get, let's see if we can find all the labs. He wants to go lay in a hot tub of water. No. 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 No, no, do not, not go lay in the bathtub no. like no. you want to do. You can't no. go lay in the bathtub. No. No, you need to keep your skin coated. We don't want you losing any more fluid. Mm -hmm. Just don't bathe and keep it on them. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That's exactly you right. know, hit the hot spot. Let's go see if we can get those labs. Okay? Mm. Yeah, let's see. We're waiting on the labs. So. That's funny. So, that's laying in that cream that y'all gave him? Yes. Okay. I mean, and he can buy that big jar that's yeah. from Walmart. Okay. Uh, or Vaseline, whichever one you like. I forgot. I, love the, I don't know the name of it, but they give me something. It looks kind of like what you gave me the other day. It's mm -hmm. a different 